Good morning, everyone. It is June 25th, Sunday morning, and I thought I'd get this video out early for you this week uh, because there's a couple things we need to um, have last minute reminders on, and then I'll tell you about week four. And week four is pretty exciting because once we're done with this week, we're halfway done with the semester. So we're moving along at a, a pretty quick pace here. So as the reminders for today, you have two items you're gonna need to have completed. Uh, the first is the quiz for week three. It's a 15 question, true, false, multiple choice, and it should be pretty easy. We had two very short chapters in the book, the uh, Aegean civilization, which is the very early Greeks, and then we had the Etruscans, which are the very early Romans. For the next two weeks, we're going to tackle those two chapters. Um, week four deals with the, uh, ancient Greece, and week five deals with the Roman Empire. So besides the quiz, um, you also had the annotated bibliography due. And the reason I assigned this is to help break up that project that's due at the end of the semester. And if you're like me, you know, we always wait till the last minute and then we realize there's so much work to do that we don't have the enough enough time to to really apply to get uh, a good project completed. So what I wanted to do was break up that project into more bite-sized pieces. The first being the annotated bibliography. And what I'm having you do is just establish the civilization you want to write about, whether it's Greece, Rome, the Middle Ages, the early Renaissance, prehistory, Egyptian art, it doesn't matter. You want to just focus on one of those sections to write about. The paper itself isn't that long. It's, it's a minimum of three pages. And then within that civilization, concentrate on an artwork. Um, it might be sculpture. It could be uh, painting. Uh, for instance, the fresco paintings that we saw during uh, the chapter on the Aegean. But try to focus on a particular form of art if not one particular artwork, that's fine as well. But um, you do want to keep it focused. Don't talk about the entire, for instance, Egyptian civilization. It's just too much to cover in a three-page paper. You're going to highlight your sources, four sources. It's best to have them from different categories. For instance, you might want to have a book, maybe a couple websites, maybe uh, an online journal or article. Uh, something that's scholarly. Uh, again, stay away from Wikipedia. That does not count as a source because we can't attribute a person's or a scholar's name to the material that's on there. And that's really kind of the key for academic writing. So you want to make sure that it comes from a reputable source. So that's the bibliography. Again, it should be about a page long under each citation. And this is what's great too is when you do the annotated bibliography, you've already created the citation so that when you write your paper and when you have your uh, sentence that needs to be cited, and I'll tell you how to do that in a later video, then all you have to do is cut and paste that source from your bibliography, put it into your endnotes or footnotes, and you're, you're done. You don't have to go back and go, how did I do this? Is the author's last name first and then the book and then the publisher? It's already done for you. All you're including is maybe a page number if you're using a book or an article. Um, and again, if you, um, I'm sorry, if you use a website, please make sure to include the URL. Um, that's standard practice in all of the uh, citation formats. Um, for week four, uh, we are just going to cover ancient Greece. And it's a pretty substantial chapter in that it's about 60 pages long. Again, we're kind of lucky because a lot of these pages have, have pictures and such. Um, so it does cut down on the reading. But I do have an audio lecture for you. It does not cover anywhere near uh, the amount of material that's in the text. Uh, it's about 20 minutes. I try to highlight some of the most important art objects. But I don't highlight everything. In fact, I don't even think I totally cover the study guide even in that lecture, but um, it runs about 20-25 minutes, so please sit down and watch that. I have my lecture notes there, 
Again, those are the lecture notes for the full presentation that I give in a class that would run an hour to two hours. So you can go through there and see with any of the uh, works that are on the video. Again, you can kind of see my physical notes on that artwork. Uh, there is a study guide and besides that I think uh, we just have the quiz. Um, the quiz is a, a short answer quiz. Um, what I'd have you do is download the instructions. Uh, it is set up in a Word document and it has six questions. Each of them are worth five points for your total of 30 points for the quiz. Um, the questions require uh, three to five sentences uh, as far as answers go, so please don't turn anything that's like an essay um, under each question. It, it's just three to five sentences. Basically, I'm asking you for a paragraph short answer. And um, when you're done with that, please uh, submit that using the link, and I'll grade it as soon as I can. With the bibliographies, as well as this coming quiz, um, if you tackle it earlier in the week, it, it's, it's so much better. Um, about 20% of you, and this is Sunday, this is when the projects do, about 20% of you have already submitted the project, which I thank you, and it's easier for me to process earlier in the week. I can give you much better feedback, take a longer look at what you wrote, and without myself feeling overwhelmed. When everyone waits till the last minute, it covers me in paperwork, which isn't bad. I still have the same amount of hours grading, but it tends to be graded a lot more strict. And if you do it earlier in the week, it helps you, it helps me. And as a little hint for other classes, when you have it turned in early, the teachers are generally pretty happy about it. And they kind of use your project to base the other grades of other projects around. So generally when you turn it in earlier, the grade tends to be better, you know, not a guarantee, but, you know, definitely something to, uh, to consider and think about in your academic career. Um, besides the quiz, uh, don't forget about the extra credit assignment. Um, that's not due for a few weeks yet, but, um, you know, it's sunny and warm these weekends and a cool place to be, um, both, uh, it is, um, it is a museum. So whether it is the Get Getty uh, Villa, uh, whether it's LACMA or uh, the Norton Simon, you know, consider going to those places because, um, you know, 30 points is 30 points. It, and that definitely helps out on your overall grade. Um, I've also uploaded the instructions for the final two parts of this Early Civilizations project that the bibliography is assigned to. The artwork not only has instructions, it has a video that is uh, due in, uh, I believe, two weeks, July 9th. And then, um, what else? The, the final written paper, the instructions are down there. I haven't done a video yet. And I will also put together a PowerPoint of past art projects that the students have, have done. Um, again, don't worry too much about the art project. And if, if you haven't done art before, uh, it tends to be very easy, and once you see some examples, it, it's it's a piece of cake. If you do have problems with it, again, please email me early in the process. Do not email me the night before it's due, because I can't help you at that point. So again, earlier the better. Uh, if you have questions, of course, david.pluff at jp.edu. I'm happy to help you with that, and uh, have a great week.